Aha! <laughs> Let's get down to business, huh? Are you trying to be in the video or what? We got two top dogs in this mother flipper right now, but this is beyond the moves. So keep this in mind. You can use all your signatures, but they are not your savior. This is not a two on two. Laurent is not present. He is not your savior. Kefton is not on the judge panel. He is not your savior. He called you a cowboy. What did he mean? What are you? No, I'm going to kill you. Just a humble bounty hunter, man. Yeah, 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 yo, what's going on, y'all? How y'all living, man? Is everybody good? You understand what I'm saying? Because you know I'm finna bring it right here, huh? Take a, wait a minute, take a good, quick, hold on, wait a minute. Y'all didn't like the, y'all didn't like the video yet? What is your, huh? Let me take a good, quick, make sure y'all like that video. <laughs> is y'all straight? Sheesh! <laughs> The doc is pleased. I did not see this one coming. We talking Soyuz? The poppin' champ? Summer Dance versus Larry? Let twins? Beyond the moves? I'm talking six, seven, eight rounds? I want to see Larry go the distance, and I just want to see him throw down. We got popping versus hip hop. Hey man, anything can pop off at this mother flipper. Make sure you click the link in the description. Metal's Palace to cop you a hoodie. Blah. Huh? Ew. T-shirts, hoodies, stop, man. Your boy is on a mission. Wait a minute. I, I, I just want to see. I just want to see if he can go to distance. Now, Larry said. I think he went to the doctor. You know what I mean? He had to get a, He got to get his checkups and 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 check check his blood pressures and stuff. Let's let's just see what happened, man. Cause I'm happy. Just imagine, man. Just imagine, man. This is finna get crazy. So use take off, man. Watch them work. There it is. Mm, mm. That's all right. That's all right. my drink out damn it's like if you ain't hip-hop they ain't fucking with you nice can we get a clap any Ooh. nice mm, that's nasty so you I see that I like this, man. I like this. I don't even think I've really seen a popper in this space before. Nah, ooh. Way to come out of that player. He ain't the champ for nothing, you know what I mean? Did you see how he sat in that pocket? And he just gonna smile at you the whole time while he Fucking yo shit up. That's that light work, boy, I tell you. Here it is. This is what y'all came to see. This ain't bucket hat Larry it look like. This not Afro Larry. This 
This might be workshop Larry though, let's see. buddy about five more rounds to go man let's make something happen i want to see somebody get into some shit you know what i mean let's not treat this up like like some regular event test yourself right here who's got the guts huh ready to see that switch up and how he presents his movement i know popping is very structured within the twos and fours oh, that's nice though nice 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 there we go i like that i like that I like that. Let's do this. Oh, it's do look. I didn't know it's do regular. What we finna do? What we finna do? He already got the accents on lock and shit. Woo! Woo! Nice. Ah. 
your savior. Nice. There we go. That was that was that was murder right there. Oh, you getting disrespectful on me, OD, huh, Larry? I didn't know that's what we was doing. Nice. Respect, man, respect. We get into the third. Variety in the tracks, too. I like this. I'm telling you, man, this is nothing but a testing ground. If you go into this, utilizing your, your signatures and and things you've just been training, like, I feel like that's the exact opposite of what this place is supposed to be. No, it's a copyright. No, 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 no. So use, please, brother. Fuck it up. No, yeah, yep. There it is. Check the angles. Woo! Huh? Oh no. He said, I am. I am. Nice. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I like that angle. Okay. I see you. I'm finna get hit with a copyright. There ain't nothing. There ain't nothing I can do. But see, this would be what I think is a popper's worst nightmare. Dance songs like this, groovy-ish type tracks. You know what I mean? I feel like within the um, the rhythm that I was looking for within that second round, definitely needs to be present in a round like this because the song is way more loose than the structure that I'm seeing within how uh, Soul Use is utilizing his movement and technique. Nice. Jeez. Smooth. Like, see, yeah, I would focus on waving or something, you know what I mean? Like, Develop something. That's smooth. It's calm. It's calm. I don't think it was the strongest, but it, it was calm. Uh oh. Uh oh. He probably know this whole track forward and backwards. Man, cut them off. There, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. DJ, just t don't tell me you didn't just rewind it. That's what I, I'm gonna get hit with a copyright. Larry, just 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 do it, bro. Just go. This looks smooth, though. I'm not gonna lie. I've never seen. I never seen this from him. I ain't Khalif or nothing, but I think it looked nice. That same cadence that what I was talking about though, to match the song, I don't feel like it's there. Only because his is more heavy reset based. Like I feel like he hasn't stuck to one thing at all and developed it. It's just been a bunch of random stuff. I mean, I mean it's a pretty groovy song and I don't even like Drake right there. I 
I just want this round to be over because it's it, copyright. You know what I mean? If I can make it through this, I can make it through anything. Now what we doing? Let's go, so you do something, man. Oh, god damn, brother. He said playtime is over. Nice. Y'all got me wanting to hop in this bitch. I'm telling you, man. As soon as I, as soon as I touch down out there, y'all saw the feet. I'm, I'm going to a beyond the move. It would be an honor to me, man. I'm not even battling nobody. I'm just, I'm having a, a, a fucking long lab with people. Ooh, nice. <laughs> he has crazy isos, man. Especially like he has a good direction to lead with, uh, or he has good directions when he leads with uh, with the waves with his head, like how he utilizes the the, the point of direction to like start everything. But he can isolate really good. Nice. And of course, his pops are strong as shit. Easy. Cry his best round. Uh oh, I think Larry Leg fucked up. But I know he's still gonna deliver. You know what I mean? What we doing, huh? It matters as much until he acts into specific. Beep, 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 beep. be a dancer and like create because we gonna have a long talk after this spider said this beat right here though you know what i mean i can't wait to practice with you spider we're gonna change the world man nice Nice. 
saying? When you switch it up just even for a second. Changing your rhythms or like the overall presentation of your movement to have contrast, it does it does a lot, man. Nice. something on it Larry I know you got the juice man put something on it dog Hennessy gang you know what I mean this beat this, that, that switch up right there is so nice This, this is what I want to rap about because the idea that I get for what Beyond the Moves is is like the exact opposite of what battles are and that's why essentially even when I practice I feel like my alignment to how I practice goes with what Beyond the Moves tries to tries to tries to make priority amongst the space in which they bring all these dancers because ideally like battles just put this this like idea out there especially because of how consistent battles are where it's like you you train more so for the idea of doing like a one round and this is not to like larry or anybody this is like a thing i've seen just in general or that i felt personally myself but like in the ways that people prepare for battles you know within the space of what you're preparing for you finna go into it doing at least one round maybe two you know what i mean just to get out that round in this particular case that's not nothing that's not nothing that helps you as a dancer. I feel grow within a space where it's like, when, you, when you're practicing, if you were to go practice and do something for one round, you're never getting to that point where you've reached like your peak or your creative, like like almost like, uh, like, like, I don't know how to put it, man. Like you, if you dig a hole and like, ah, it's not deep enough, you still got out like really fast. I don't know what comparison I'm trying to use exactly to like make it seem like quotable you know i want to give y'all a quote that y'all can go put up somewhere and uh put me in your story when i say it but but basically it's like when people explore enough within this dance and utilize it as an art form for what it is you need more than one round to to really tap in you know what i mean and doing such for the sake of being in a battle you not, you're not really connected in a way that i feel like is is to to really to really explore to really create to really like tap in with your artistry the one rounds if you can that that's that's a talent in itself if you can limit what you do or not even limit if you can say what you need to say in that 45 time duration 
that 45 second time span, if you can say what you need to say within that, then that's great. You know what I mean? You can really condense your shit to where you are perfect probably for Instagram. You know what I mean? They got 15, 30 second reels. That's all you need. You can get your shit out and, and that quick of amount of time, this, this, this era is for you. And at the same time, I'm saying after you went up and did your one round, you probably leaving like, ah, oh, man, you know, I could have did better the next one or, you know, ah, oh, man, I didn't really say what I wanted to say. Yeah, no, duh. Yeah, no, duh. You only had 30 seconds for a prelim. I mean, what more can I say? A lot. You know, you, you got a whole lot you want to express, but you didn't even get the chance beyond the moves and other events that understand the dance component. You need more than one. You need more than one. Larry and Soyuz or let anybody. I don't want to see you battle for one round. Some people, <laughs> one round is all you need. <laughs> we got it. You know what I mean? I, no, nigga. You, the levels, it's not there. <laughs> Hit the lab. You know what I mean? Hit the lab. Sometimes you got to let that shit go a couple rounds, though. And to me, from what I'm getting, is, is Larry is not the vocabulary guy. I've been told y'all this for, for the longest, but it's not in any way that I want to say anything to take away or make it, it needs to be this. This is just what I'm, I'm looking at from all these different things we could check off per se. But I think within the space of, you know, being a dancer, there's multiple ways that you can create. And there's no question him and his brother and even still, again, just focusing on him, they are creators. They have created a multitude of things that got me and just like the rest of y'all copying them, okay? Like they, they, in no shape, way, or form are they not creators. But I'm, I'm just talking about within the space of the dance and, and the thing that's necessary for the dance is like the movement, the expansion of movement, the, 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 the creation of, of just coming up with new things time and time and time and time again instead of utilizing the things that are not your savior you know what i mean like those work in the battle they don't work here you know what i mean like i pretty much got what i feel like i've been feeling at least from him for the longest because of these rounds that you you can't you can't hide nothing from from this particular space like it's pretty much because these rounds like summer dance forever even you got three rounds, you know what I mean? Like, you can't really hide nothing. Typically, you can hide behind the, the one round because it was one round and you're like, God, you know, I just, I couldn't get it in the one round, but you had three, you had five. It's like, okay, what are you saying now? You know what I mean? Like, you might not have done good the first round. And I mean, granted, you can still have a bad or off day or whatever, but it's just, you can't use that as an excuse no more. So now it's like, I get to see you more fleshed out. There's no time limit. You have multiple rounds, different music being played to go ahead and, and try. I mean, most of it, it's not even like it was popping songs. I don't like using that, but it, it, it was just music that I feel like is definitely something that you could be fucking up to. It's, it's all catered to that. And, and in terms of like just the vocabulary is what I'm talking about. It's, it's not that many but what I did get is like you know the intricacies to like match those specific beat patterns where I talked about it like it's like a special effect to me because he can really match those things really well but then within the overall just being on beat and just flowing or having elements of groove or just having things where it's like it's isolated it's broken up there's transitions and how you can utilize certain pockets to lead you to certain other places within your dance movement that transitions and then it leads you to over here or it brings you to over there conceptualize things that develop and turn into something like there are a lot of different things just from the dance space that i i just recognize is is not is not peak you know what i mean so to me it's like i want to go to this not only not to just expose it but for myself to know i got shit to work on you know that that's just me that's just me you know like if i were to go into the one round i could i could just make an excuse if i were to go here and i got five rounds and i didn't produce nothing that's not him i'm just saying if that was me like if i didn't produce nothing that's telling me something that's telling me something you have a you have information to absorb when you when you don't do what you want to do in the battles but to have an opportunity where you say go five rounds six rounds straight and we finna we finna we finna just dance you know what i mean no no restrictions and you can't produce or the quality of what you produce is not 
I mean, so used to me, I, it was calm. There was things from that perspective as a popper, just being able to read what he was doing. There's a lot of different things that I feel like he can, he, he specializes within that made his dance a little bit more appealing to me because of the versatility, but also like, I felt like just within what I would just say is the consistency of his dance. Like popping can be very boring to me at times, but one thing is for sure, they are going to be at least consistent. The two and the four pattern is very flat. That's the main thing that leads from flat to boring because it's just flat. There's no spikes, there's no changes. There's no like sudden like, um, a tension grabber or, or something within the space of like to, to, to draw your attention. It's just flat. You know, you might pick up your phone, come back to him. He's still in that same consistent flow. You get what I mean? But it's at least there. You know what I mean? They are always here for the most part. And then it's the lack of in between. Whereas like Larry does a lot of the in between, but he's not, he, I, I don't ever really just see him in the groove on beat you know just the timing within itself the, the on being on beat with the consistency of the song so to me it just it looks like a bunch of missing pieces and then so use can look really good and have moments where i still i feel like maybe he had a little bit more fleshed out vocabulary but then like if he was doing something then like you could see the development of something or the changes within something and it had it had range he had some directions he was utilizing things of that such but then at the same time because it still got flat you know like in certain songs I feel like if I've watched you for five rounds and the consistency of what you're doing for all five rounds is pretty much there then like I would want to see you be able to adapt to different music at different tempos or at least switch up your tempos and being able to like change up your rhythms within different songs so another thing is like I said before I practice to the same song multiple times and I try to dance to the song differently. So that way, like my rounds just don't look the same throughout the entirety of the five rounds. So if I hear this song, I want to bring out something, you know, within whatever I'm feeling. But the next song, it's, I mean, depending if it's like the same type of song, I guess, but still, if it's the same type of song, I still want to produce a different quality of movement that doesn't feel the exact same as the last round was. But if it's a different song, that creates a different feeling. I'm feeling like naturally then you would have a different feeling than what you just had. So that should already just have you moving a little bit different than that first round. But as far as poppers go, they it's like they don't know how to let go because we got to be very tight sometimes. So I understand the feeling, but that was just my perception of like how I seen Oh Boy Dancing where it just, sometimes it would just look, you know, still tight. It would still just look like, you know, structured and everything like that but at, at some points i would want to see like a, just a little bit of looseness just within the space of like i feel like it was that i don't know what round it was but the song just didn't even feel like it had none of that you know what i mean it, it seemed like a more chill song so then like the waving components just something that you can feel like you can match the song a little bit to where it, it, it goes hand in hand with your movement and your technicalities overall I'm just happy to, to see the exchange. I don't know what these two got from it. And a, a follow-up, man. This is not something for Beyond the Moves to bite, you know what I mean? But a follow-up would be valid because I feel like if Larry and So Use wanted to listen to, to a dancer's perspective, just to create like almost like a therapist, you know, unbiased, but I have the experience to, to talk and rap. And then at the same time, now that I done shared a lot of my thoughts that are not like fully connected to either of them. It's just my own thoughts from how I seen everything. They can tell me, you know, what they be feeling or what they thought, you know, within how they felt towards their rounds or how they felt while they was doing it. I feel like those things are very crucial because we gonna leave not knowing nothing. You know what I mean? You got my perspective, my take on it, but to, to know what they got from it and then moving forward, how they, how they saw their stuff, or, or like how they felt if they, if they think they need to work on this or if this changes their mindset or whatever. You know, maybe they just thought me, I fucked it up. You know what I mean? Just like I always do. You know, I, I don't know. But just the overall thought of like beyond the moves just be getting me motivated to like go lab for an hour straight. You know, no break, two hours. You know, just figuring out stuff, playing with certain things. The whole song I'm finna be labbing, but with a key concept so I can develop vocabulary. You know what I mean? To extend whatever it is I'm doing in my round so it's not cut short and I run out of material and I'm jumping from thing to thing to thing to thing to thing. I done told y'all this multiple times. 
I don't know how much of this information is going to register with y'all, but I feel like within the abundance of what Beyond the Moves gives that my brain is so scattered because there's so many different things, you know what I mean? Like, and then you get so motivated or you get so like, you get so enthusiastic because like, there's just so much you want to talk about. So I ain't stopped talking yet. You know what I mean? Uh, but hopefully, you know, somebody got something out of it. I might even go live. You know what I mean? I might go live, rap with y'all there. Um, just because I know people don't even be making it to the end of the video because if you did you would probably be clicking on metalspalace.com Just to just to get you some gear. You know what I mean? You fuck with the palace, right? You fuck with the palace uh, I, I I would just think you want yeah, because a lot of y'all said y'all was gonna buy some stuff and y'all didn't buy it You know what I mean? Hey, you you know who you are. You know what I mean? Let me know what y'all thought though Like let's if we're gonna talk. Let's talk and then and maybe even so this is what y'all can do get in the comment section Let me uh, say doc do a live stream. You know what I mean? That's how I'm going to know. That's how I'm going to know who fucking with me and who ain't fucking with me. Peace.